Hey guys, welcome to another painting adventure. This time it's in the Crown Range overlooking Queenstown in Otago. I was up there painting with a few friends and doesn't snow make everything paintable? Look at that beautiful evening light there on the tree. Fantastic colours. Um, I've been studying uh, Tibor Nagy and Richard Schmid's work and this has inspired me to try this slightly new technique for me and uh, I'm really excited about it so I wanted to share it with you. Basically it's a little bit like using oils like watercolors in that you see what I normally do with when I put on the darks like this is to make them a lot thicker so that I actually try and cover the canvas and not allow it to show through but with this technique I'm leaving them a lot more watery if you will but I'm using turps obviously thinners to thin them down and you can see them you know dribbling down the, the canvas there it's so thin that it's actually like a watercolor in that the, the actual brush strokes themselves which are semi-transparent uh, create this really beautiful intricate texture which couldn't be made any other way there's plenty of different methods to make texture. I've used a big brush there and here I'm using a tissue just to pull out the detail in the background there and for all the world you know from a distance these just that just stippling that on looks like those branches which are struck by the sun all those intricate little branches which you know could take you days to paint but uh, just dab 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 and there you go beautiful Now at the other end of the painting I'm plastering on these lights as really thick and dragging them across the surface of the paint so that they sparkle as they come off in little clumps. Really juicy work. A painting's all about contrast and relationships to me so it's this thick juicy paint uh, contrasted with the thin delicate darks which really makes this technique sing to me really makes it beautiful now there's this big temptation to work over and over and over the layers that you've put down um, so this is the hardest thing about this technique is to just put it down and leave it alone don't muddy those darks up as you put on your mid values and your lights because the darks are so delicate in this technique it makes that all the more important and in that way it's like watercolor where you try and preserve your lights through the whole painting but in this one you try and preserve your darks if you want to have a look at some other paintings done with this technique have a look at Tibor Nagy's site or Richard Schmidt's site and if you want to have a go trying this the, this exact same painting uh, I've put the, a large photo of it on this web page here so that you can give it a go yourself. Okay, have fun you guys. See you next time.